Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, we got double cash money and RP for VIP work this week. And that is excellent because it is great for beginners who have just came into the game and have no idea what they're doing and are flat broke. And it's good for those players that have been playing for years but for some reason just don't know how to make no money they keep buying dumb stuff and it just drains their bank account they keep getting griefed over and over so please I'm gonna show you guys how to make millions in just a single day 100% solo 100% legit all you need is fifty thousand dollars in your pocket to start it out to be able to do the VIP work and you're good to go I do recommend getting an armored Karuma right now it's on sale for like hundred and sixty thousand dollars but you don't have to have one, but I do recommend that, especially for the missions that we'll be doing, all right? So, starting out, you got your 50K. You want to go in, become a VIP, and then you want to go to VIP work and start doing a couple of these jobs, primarily Headhunter and Sightseer. Now, we'll talk about another job here in just a minute, but please, focus on these two missions. Pay attention to what Uncle Ty is telling you because I'm gonna make you millions in just a couple of hours, okay? So please pay attention to what we're doing here. When you do Headhunter, it's real simple. You've got four targets you have to take out. Two targets are stationary, and two targets are mobile. They're driving around. And what you wanna do is aim for the driver. Kill the driver and move on. Take the guy out with the red arrow on top of his head. If it's in the vehicles, it'll be the driver. If it's a stationary position, you'll see a guy that has a red arrow. Don't try and duke it out. Just go ahead and take out that driver or that uh, that person with the red arrow or the driver in the vehicle. Now, I recommend the armored Karuma because, for one, it's just one of the most important vehicles in the game to have, especially for a money grinder. But this vehicle is unique. It is able to resist small arms NPC fire beautifully. It's very difficult for NPCs to be able to shoot you. I mean, they can hit you, but it is very rare, and it you can usually survive. You know, having dozens of NPCs around you shooting at your car. So it's really, really advantageous. Uh, it's all-wheel drive. It's pretty quick. It's four doors. So you can have some of your buddies in there. It does not give protection against explosives uh, like RPGs and C4s, but it's still going to be good against NPCs because typically you don't have to worry about that with NPCs. So you see right there, we got the fourth kill, and we got awarded $43,000. It took us about four and a half, five minutes to get that done. All of these missions will take you roughly five minutes, between four, maybe maybe six, seven minutes on you know some of the missions. It's, that's no big deal, though. It's okay. You get done with the headhunter, and you're going to have about a four-minute cooldown. That's fine. Don't worry about that. That's part of the process, okay? Let that four minutes run out. Go rob a couple of gas stations, whatever, snack up, you know, use the restroom, whatever, okay? After that four minutes countdown timer goes, you want to pop Sightseer, okay? And remember, if you are a beginner or if you are broke, you probably don't have things like a Mark II or, you know, uh, high-powered, fast rocket vehicles. It may be difficult to find a good chopper or a buzzard flying around. Plus, they get shot up pretty easy and they get destroyed pretty easy. So the Armored Karuma not only will keep you away from having to fool with that, but the vehicle itself driving around the city will, you know, eat up some time and help out with this whole entire method. Now, Sightseer is very easy. You don't have to kill anybody. You don't even have to fire a single shot. You just hack some very simple codes, uh, and, that you, and it takes you directly to the package. It even sets a waypoint for you, all right? And there will be three packages, and it typically takes, you know, between four, six. You know, once again, sometimes you'll get one that's, uh, that's about seven minutes. But remember, guys, a ties tip start all of these inside the city if you're doing a headhunter be in the city that way all your targets will be in the city if you're doing sightseer do this in the city as well get inside your vehicle and then launch these and all your missions should be inside the city that's important if you are north of the city your con you know your your targets that you have to take out or your packages that you have to pick up will be all over the north side and you know Polito bay you don't want to do that okay so you see right there Forty-four thousand dollars, and I've you know in less than ten minutes we have almost a hundred thousand dollars right here. Already we're stacking cash already, and as you notice here, as soon as I go down, headhunter is ready to go. So bam, we start up headhunter. There's no wait. That's what this method is. That's the whole time frame in this, and it works beautifully. All right. Now this headhunter 
took me a while because I had to go way up north. I was messing around. You know, that's just, that's okay though. All right, it took me a little bit longer than normal, but that's no problem. That's okay. Forty-eight thousand dollars for that. It worked out to my benefit because now we have no no cooldown time. We had just a few seconds. About every third to fourth, you know, mission that you do, headhunter or sightseer, you'll have about a two-minute cooldown, and that's okay. It's no problem. And we'll talk about you know what you can do to get around that or things to help out with that a little bit later. Again, we're doing sightseer. Takes no time at all. I went back into the city, started this up. Real simple, real easy. All right, we'll hack a few. This, this thing right here annoys me. I hate this thing. We'll get that knocked out. We go to the next uh, drop, and you know it gives us a little, you know, waypoint or whatever. <laughs> and we pick this guy up. There we go. Knock that one out. We'll solve the next puzzle. And Sightseer is so easy. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you don't have an armored Karuma, remember, doing Headhunter, you're going to have to pay attention to your health and armor, okay? But you just do a couple of these missions. Maybe you run some Gerald contact missions or any one of the contact missions that are double money right now. And uh, you'll make you know the money that you need to get the armored Karuma in no time, okay? And it's very, very good. You don't have to add anything else to it. You know, If you don't have the performance upgrades, it's still a fast car. You'll still get your armor. It comes with bulletproof tires, so you're good to go on that. All right, we got this drop right here. Uh, we got one more to go. No problem at all. Sightseer is tipping because you have to drive around a little bit more. It's, it's a little bit longer, but once again, that works to our benefit because it eats up the timer. The VIP missions have a rotating timer, all right? So that's why you want to, it doesn't matter if you don't get these done in just two and a half minutes. As you see right there, got that knocked out, $45,000. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, all right? So we've made well over $100,000. We're about 15, 16, 17 minutes into it, something like that. Nothing crazy. And as you see right here, we're able to start Headhunter right back up, okay, and get that knocked out. Easy, right? This is very, very simple. It's such good money, especially right now with it being double VIP money. It's just you can't. You can't go wrong doing this. You really can't. I love it. So we'll get the headhunter started. Pop that. You just, you know, kind of map out your locations and your targets. These are pretty much all in a straight line. I can just knock these out. One, two, three, four. And this one right here, people think, oh, you have to get out of the vehicle and go in. No, you don't. Check this out. You just drive on in. You know, get to this little corner right here. Do a little burnout to, you know, kind of angle your vehicle. See that right there? Angle it, angle it, burn out, burn out, angle it. Bam, we're right through the targets on the inside. Usually when we do this, we use a Mark II or a buzzard, you know what I mean? But again, I'm taking, you know, I'm putting myself in your guys' shoes here. You're broke, you ain't got no money. You don't really know what's going on. Uh, you can buy the armored Karuma. You can find it in Southern San Andreas. <laughs> Yesterday on my live stream, it took me like an hour to find it. But yeah, it's in Southern San Andreas. You can find it there. It is on discount. It's well worth it. You see right here, Merc, this guy out. It took us about six minutes to get that done. Seven minutes maybe. Less than seven minutes. About six minutes and 15 seconds. And $45,000. You see we're just racking cash up. Racking cash up. Easy. Nothing to it. All right. So now we know that we're going to be able to knock this out. You can also... Do a lot of people say, Oh, you could do hostile takeover time. Yeah, you can. You could do hostile takeover. Hostile takeover, you could do there's a there's a few missions that you can do in an invite only lobby besides headhunter and sightseer. Now, you can do that if you want to to break it up. Uh, I don't recommend them because they just don't pay as much. They either take too long or you don't get the same kind of pay. Hostile takeover is all right, it doesn't take that much time. You can pick where you want to go, pick up your target. Uh, you don't have to get out of the vehicle to pick the target up that I know of anyways. I know with this one you don't have to. You just drive over it. Uh, and you go deliver it. You have to lose the cops. You cannot call Lester. Uh, so just go to the OG Bat Cave. You lose the cops. And then you can drive out to your location. And we do that right there. And it doesn't take too much time, right? It really does. It's not that bad. It took me about, you know, about seven minutes for this one right here. But you only get 34000 And the other, you know, Headhunter and Sightseer were banging out, you know, forty-five. 
uh, thousand dollars on average there. So again, you can do those, but just know headhunter and sightseer are going to be your sweet spot. And when you pair this method up with a vehicle, something that's not as fast as a Mark II or a Buzzard, it helps out with that cool down timer clock. All right. So let's look at the profit. Let's look at the numbers. You need 50K to start VIP work. You can easily get that. Do a couple of missions. You're fine. I do recommend having an armored Kruma. Again, you can do just a few more missions and you'll have enough money for that. Or you can use the vehicle that you're comfortable with. Just pay attention to your health and armor. Headhunter and Sightseer normally pay out on average $22,500 on standard income. With double income on average, you're going to be making about 45000 okay? You could do roughly three VIP jobs in roughly 15 minutes on average, about 15 minutes. Sometimes you can get four, right? Uh, but on average, you'll be able to get three within 15 minutes. So that is, on standard cash, $270,000 to $540,000 with double cash money per hour. So that means if you follow my method that I've just given you right here, extremely easy, very simple, right? You can become a millionaire in two to four hours, 100% solo, 100% legitimate, 100% grief free. You're in an invite only lobby. This is easy. It's beautiful. It's, I feel like Donald Trump. It's beautiful. It's huge. It's humongous. I love it. Everything's perfect and beautiful. But no, seriously though, <laughs> easy money. It's awesome. Please do this method. It's very simple. It'll make you a ton of cash. Uh, the, the only thing you have to really worry about is, you know, paying attention to your health and armor. Uh, if you don't have an armored Kruma, a slight grind to get those vehicles. Uh, you know, you may have a couple of minute cooldown, you know, wait in between, but that's no big deal at all. Easy money, all right? Please use this method. Enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe to my channel for the Ill Surreal's content, the game smash. I mean, it's must match that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.